Absolutely. We're going to continue now with the Lex Hickson book, Lex Hickson book coming home. We left off with chapter three, and now we are going to go to chapter four, which is called Ten Seasons of Enlightenment. This chapter has to do with the Zen ox herding or Zen ox herding pictures. These pictures are different, some I've seen before, and his comments under each picture is different also than some I've seen before. Then he has comments on each of those in great depth. Chapter 5 is, There is only the one, Plutonus and the Metaphysics of Spiritual Quest. Chapter 6 is called, the Landscape That Laughs. This is about Jewish soul master of the Hasidic way, that is the Jewish Hasidic way. Chapter seven is called The New Aeon Has Dawned, A-E-O-N. And these are about the letters of St. Paul, who of course was the writer of those letters in the uh, New Testament after the regular uh, Gospels were written after the book of Acts, in fact. The next one is called, chapter 8, Allah alone can know Allah. Now, this is the teachings of a contemporary Sufi whose name is Bawa Mahayadin. He is a Sufi master, of course. The next chapter is called, chapter 9, Conversations with an Ancient Chinese Sage, the oracle text of the I Ching. Now, as you know, I have many books on the I Ching, which is of great interest to me. So when I read this particular chapter on the I Ching from his point of view and from his studies, I find that extremely interesting because this is a point of view I don't see in many of my other books. And then chapter 10, which is the last chapter, is called Designing an Experiment in Contemplation. And this one is called Toward a Tiaja of Avita Vedante. <laughs> now that is a tough chapter to read. It's even tough to read the title. I'll tell you that one. <laughs> now, also... At the end of all of this, what he does here is bibliographical notes. And in this section right up here in bibliographical notes, he says he doesn't have room in this book to print all of the things he has read to help him learn of what he is writing about. But what he does in here, he gives each section, chapter 1 on Heidegger and Krishnamurti, for example, uh, some things about it and other sources you might yourself read for more detail. And it does this for each single chapter and goes through all of them until, of course, it gets to the last one. And then um, he's also got copyright acknowledgments in the back as well. So what you will find in this book is the detailed analysis of all of these things that are really quite amazing when you go through them because of his deep study of all of them. There's an example of the ox herding pictures, the Zen ox herding pictures that you see usually in different forms. But here you see them in these forms. I won't go through them all, but give you a sample. Of course, he has his writings under here. Then he has detailed writings about what each of these means in following that. So the Lex Hickson book is something everyone should read who wants to know the essence of world religions and the roots which they come from. We hope you've enjoyed this short uh, videos on Lex Hickson. Have a wonderful day.